Hi, so I'm back. In the last video, I was uh, talking about the fact that uh, LCPS decided to cut down the speaking time from five minutes to one minute. And uh, I guess they were just too busy. So what I'm gonna share with you here is, is, is a little bit of insight as to what, what kept them so busy. Um, I didn't know it was possible but they somehow developed 83 page point up uh, 83 page slide deck that is uh, the action plan to combat systemic systemic racism okay 83 pages the hell do you have to say in 83 pages um i'm gonna put this on uh i don't know where i'm gonna put it i'll put a link in the in, in youtube and i'll post it on um what we call facebook there under uh veto so uh, I'm just gonna. Go, I'm not gonna go through all the three or three slides, but I mean, there, there's some in here that just I just I just don't understand. Um, but I'll I'll just kind of throw it out there to see if it lets you whistle a little bit. Um, there's a big emphasis on uh, implementing measures to reduce racial ethnicity discipline disproportionality. So that is, you know, too many minority kids are getting, you know, suspended or in trouble at school, or, you know, more than white and maybe more than Hispanic. I, I don't know. I don't have all the, the numbers. I'm from, but that's what the argument is. The question I always have when I when I read this is, okay, so if there's a disproportionate rate, what are the offenses? If the offense warrants is in line with the, the, the penalty, then what's the problem? Just because somebody is is a POC, if they committed an offense, then you pay the piper, right? Who? What, what does that have to do with color? If if my son did something and the same kid, you know, another kid did it and he was black, I would expect the same punishment. So, so why, why is I, I don't even understand? You know, they need to look at the punishment versus the color of the skin of who's getting punished. Why are they getting punished? It is probably the first question you should ask um yeah i mean you look here that the risk ratio decreases you know they got they got charts and graphs and they've got you know theories and 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 you know ratios about this stuff and you know it's 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 stuff that you develop when you're trying to find something when you're trying to find some inequality somewhere now does it happen yeah maybe it happens right but i mean to really devote maybe you know 25 slides to it again does the punishment fit the crime or does the crime fit the punishment that's what you you got to look at <laughs> um yeah here we go we'll just keep going through this here they got a multi-tier they got beautiful color uh i don't know triangle here i guess that's what it's called unless unless it's been re renamed um action plan to combat racism okay so they got an uh finalized the comprehensive equity guide to work with um, I'm not going to read all this stuff here to you, but uh, I, I find it amazing that they can devote 83 slides, but they can't give somebody, you know, longer than 60 seconds to talk about this. Probably because it, it may conflict with what they're trying to do. So here's some remaining questions. What is the difference between the equity plan in the LCPS action plan to come at, combat systemic racism. Will both plans exist as separate documents? 83 pages, and we got kids out of school because of this COVID stuff. And they're, they're, they're laser-like focused on, on whatever, this stuff. Um, so it does, it goes on, and I think it's probably worth a read because, you know, there's, there's, they're very disingenuous about what they're sharing and what they're telling. They use a lot of, uh, you know, big words, big phrases, because they think everybody's an idiot. Um, and if you just kind of look past those big words and phrases, you'll see that they're actually the idiots. Because all they're doing is double speaking, right? They're trying to use, it's like a, if you've ever been cursed at by somebody that's French, it sounds nice, right? And that's what this is. They use big words to try to keep people from, from, uh, to accept what they're selling. They're great salespeople because they use these words and they hide behind these, you know, these theories and all this stuff. And it's just like, now let's just, you just have barroom talk and talk like normal people and you'll get to, you'll get somewhere. Um, 
I, you know, I'm not even on slide 30 yet, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time and you know doing all this stuff. But uh, here's a question, you know, so LPS has formally apologized for the history of operating segregated schools. I, I didn't know we were still segregated. I, I didn't know that was still going on. If if I did, I still wouldn't apologize because I got nothing to do with it. You know, why are we making this a focal point? Is the 7% of the student population and their parents coming out and demanding an apology for segregation from however long ago, 60 years or something like that? Why is this even a topic, right? I mean, this is long gone. Why are we digging up the past to talk, to apologize for something none of us were around for? Move on. And this, this one I, this just doesn't make sense to me. All right, so... In a, in, in an, and this is, I don't know if this is uh, uh, hypocritical, I guess is a good word for it. In an effort to establish equality, okay, work, work with me here. In an effort to establish equality for the academies of Loudoun, they made the admission process and requirements easier. Now that says that says two things to me. One, you're not a, trying to make somebody equal by making it easier. And two, are you suggesting that people don't have the the ability to get in on their own merits, so therefore you have to make it easier for them? What I, I don't even understand that, right? I mean, you want more. I mean, you know, come up with a different plan. But I mean, it's almost an insult, I think, to me, that in the name of equity, you're going to make something easier. Why would you do that? So are they going to make it, uh, um, tryouts for the high school football teams easier for everybody? You're going to get somebody from the band or, you know, the art teacher or you know, some kid that weighs 85 pounds to try out for a linebacker? Is that gonna, are they gonna ease, up on, ease up on those restrictions? Probably not. So it just, just doesn't make sense. It's all pandering and it's all in the name of critical race theory because when you, it's theory, it's not, it's not science. I mean, it's not proven. Who, who could prove any of this stuff? Anyways, um, I'll put this, this slide deck up and, you know, if you have trouble going to sleep, then you might want to open it up. If you're bored, uh, you might want to take a look at it. Uh, just to, just so you can see that I'm not full of crap and I'm not making this stuff up. This this school district is, has lost their mind. They they are, they are out to lunch. Um, but you know what's ironic about that? Is is the uh, the superintendent, what's his name? What's up, Doc Williams? He's, he's got a, he's a, he's got a doctorate. Right, I mean, he's he's got all these degrees on his walls, but in all that money he spent for his fancy education, he doesn't have a lick of common sense. You can get that for free. You don't have to pay Harvard, where he went, uh, a gazillion dollars to get a piece of paper to get common sense. I, I don't have ten degrees. I don't have one, but I got common sense, and I can tell you, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's insulting and it's racist. And he doesn't want to look at it that way because he he's a radical. That's just as plain as... And he owns this, by the way. Uh, Williams, What's up, Doc Williams, does own this, okay? Because he's been here six years and the school board has had people come in and out and in and out. But somebody has to manage this project. This is his baby. And just to throw one other thing out there, you know, you'll see... If you look through some of this material, that there is a big initiative for minority recruitment. So teachers, um, you know, staff in general. What's interesting is this has been an LCPS initiative for 12 years. Back in 2008, the state of Virginia made the recommendation, almost in the exact same language, to increase uh, minority recruitment. Here we are 12 years later. And it's still, it's still part of their agenda. And half of that time has been under What's Up Doc Williams. Like, What's Up Doc, literally, What's Up Doc? What have you been doing for six years? Because it's been on the agenda for the six years you've been here. So, I mean, I really, if I were the NAACP, I'd be saying, man, this is just not right. 12 years? We're not getting any progress here. We need somebody 
to to help move on this. I don't know. I mean, I if I were them, I'd be I'd be uh, quite disenfranchised with what's up, Doc. So um, that's it. Again, you know, if you want to leave any comments I'm on the bottom of the YouTube uh, video, there, go right ahead. You disagree with me? You want to call me a racist? Um, I'll tell you you're wrong. Right, and if you if you can prove otherwise, then then have that. I'll still tell you you're wrong. Um, but for anybody that's uh, got a willingness to understand and and uh, really wants to try to understand what exactly what the school district is doing, you know, it, it's worth the time. Not not just listening to me, but looking at the materials. Um, I'll try to make it a little bit easier, maybe save you some time. Because like I said in the other video, this is not the funnest. Uh, I can think of a, a thousand other things I'd rather be doing. But my kids are important to me, and even when they're gone, and you know they're <laughs> they're still living in my house, um, we can't let the school district go down this path just because they think they know what's better because they have all these degrees on the wall, and because they they belittle you, the school board belittle. They don't talk to you like your people. They talk to you like you're a peon, and we we pay their salary, right? With our tax money, our tax money is going over there to those people. And they are not giving parents the time of day. I hope somebody catches this or a a a any part of this conversation for me or for anybody else just so we can get a fire going under here because this is just atrocious what these people are doing. All right. Again, my name is Scott, a.k.a. Vito, uh, a.k.a. Um, probably, I don't know, uh, white uh, racist, I guess. Um, and my white privilege is calling, so I'm going to have to check out now.